I'm, I'm passionate about making things. And, you know, you know I, I don't want to confuse making and designing, but you know, for, 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 my, for what I do on a daily basis, it's very, very intertwined, and I almost can't differentiate between the two. I'm predominantly known for making steel furniture, um, and it's a material I understand, and it's a material that I try and use out of the normal context people view it in. I think good design has longevity. I think good design needs to be well made. I think um, good design needs to challenge people. It's like a dream job. Um, it's yeah, it's a you know, it's 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 such a part of my lifestyle and my life and my and who I am. It's you know, it's it's just an, it's an extension of who I am or who I want to be. There's very little that's hypothetical about what I do. There's very, very little that's um, notional about what I do. Everything that I do, you know, results in a physical manifestation of a thought of mine. You know, people say form follows function, but that's not that interesting to me. I like forms that are that are not conceived of. Forms of forms that just happen. You know, I I, I get an idea and then I and then I make the idea. So, you know, I start prototyping and it's a very hands-on, real-time process for me. What I expect to make and what I end up making usually is different. With the Caesar stone table, I wanted the Caesar stone slab itself to be the highlight. And so I, you know, I, I pared down everything else around it and I wanted, um, yeah, I wanted, I wanted what I did to almost seem invisible. Yeah, I wanted what I did to seem very quiet. 